Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the importance of working on spotty awareness when you have scoliosis. So when you have scoliosis, it's very important to become more aware of your body and how your body is aligned because we may feel like when I have scoliosis, so when I am standing, I feel like my posture is correct. Even though I'm, it's not correct and I'm leaning more to one side, I just, that feels normal to me. So today I'm going to be talking a little bit about proper posture, how you need to be working on different exercises to become more aware of your body, and the three key things is in these exercises that I will be showing you are to work on core strengthening because that decreases your pain, work on proprioception, and what proprioception is just becoming more aware of your body and how it moves. So when you know that and you are able to move yourself in the more correct position, that is where you want to be. So also the other thing is stability. So you want to be more stable and just to keep your spine more aligned. And so all these exercises I will be showing you all focus on that. The key with scoliosis is to really work on symmetry, which you want to see both sides of your body doing the same thing and working on becoming more in tune to each other and more aligned. So that's what these exercises are going to be today. I will be explaining them more detail. So I'm going to link a couple videos here at the top that showed my different core workouts that I do. So you should check those out if you haven't seen them already. And then um, before we get started, make sure you like it, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're reminded every time I post a new video. And I hope you guys enjoy this. So let's get right into the exercises. This exercise is a pelvic tilt, so with this one you're going to lie flat on your back with your knees bent and feet flat on the floor. You're going to flatten your back by tightening your stomach muscles and your bottom muscles. So kind of imagine sucking in your belly button trying to get it to touch the floor. So you're going to hold for 5 seconds, you're going to breathe normally, and then you're going to repeat 10 times. You want to do 2 sets, usually 2-3 to three sets of the 10 to really get the benefit of this exercise. So with this one, this is really working on strengthening your core muscles. It's one of the basic movements to do. You really want to focus on getting this co done correctly because with other exercises like leg lifts or any other ab workouts where you need to keep your core tight the whole time so you don't hurt your back, this is the movement that you need to perform to prevent injury. So this one is very important to work on your stability of your core and your overall strength in order to help your posture. This exercise is a single leg balance exercise. So with this one, you're gonna stand on one leg and try to balance while you hold your arms out to the side. Now this may be challenging at first and if you need to hold on to something just to kind of get used to it, that's fine. But you wanna, the goal is to get to where you can stand with on one leg and hold the other one up in a bent position. So then you wanna hold your arms out to the side, but as it starts to get easier, you wanna bring your arms closer to your midline so that way it's a little bit more challenging. This exercise is so good to work on proprioception and reduce body and muscle imbalances. With scoliosis, it's very common to have muscle imbalances due to having unequal muscle mass on either side because of the curve. So this is really good just to work on both sides, trying to work each muscle separately. That way you can work on symmetry. So you're working both muscles and not one side is working more than the other. So also proprioception is becoming more aware of your body and the movement and what position you are in and knowing exactly what position you are in and able to reposition yourself if you're not in a correct alignment is so key to having better posture. So with this exercise, I would stand on one leg for 10 to 20 seconds and then try it on the other leg. And I would repeat this about three different times. This exercise is cat camel. So on this one, you're gonna be on your hands and knees. You wanna maintain a tight core without, throughout the whole thing with your head straight. You're gonna take a deep breath in and lift your lower rib cage around your back and relax your neck. So as you breathe out, you wanna lower your chest towards the floor looking slightly upwards. And then you wanna to return to the position again, keeping your core tight the whole time. So with this exercise, it really focuses on strengthening your core muscles, but also stretching and loosening up your muscles in your back so it can help relieve some of that back pain. So you have to keep your core strong and have looser muscles in order to really maintain your proper posture. So this is a really good exercise to do.
This exercise is double leg abdominal press. So with this one, you are gonna be lying on your back with knees bent and your feet flat on the floor to begin with. You're gonna keep your back in a neutral position and then you're gonna slowly raise your legs off the floor one at a time so that your knees and your hips are bent at a 90 degree angle. So when you're in that position, you are going to hold your arms out straight against your knees. You're gonna keep them straight and you are going to pull your knees inwards, pressing into your hands while your hands are pressing into your knees. So it's kind of a resistant motion, but this motion really helps strengthen your core muscles and that are important with doing keeping proper posture. Um, you are going to really feel this in your abdominals and your arms, but you wanna make sure you keep your arms straight the whole time. You're gonna hold for three deep breaths, and you're gonna slowly lower your legs back down to the ground one by one, and then you are gonna repeat this. And I would repeat this about 10 times and do about two sets with this. So this really engages your core muscles that are really important in keeping your posture in the most proper alignment that you can be in, and it's so important to do exercises like this just to improve your overall stability. So this next part, I'm going to be showing you proper alignment versus ways that you may be standing that is improper and that can be causing more back pain. So I'm gonna show you three examples of bad posture. I'm gonna, and I will say what the name is on there and explain it. And then I will show you how kind of how it should be proper posture. So if you need to stand in front of a mirror, if you don't have someone to help you, um, stand in front of a mirror, get the feel for it and kind of uh, just practice in the mirror, practice getting more aligned. And I will be explaining it these more in the next videos. So let's go ahead. So this first one is lumbar lordosis, and that is when your low back is in more of a sway back. So when you have this, you really want to focus on performing those posterior pelvic tilts and standing where you really suck in your belly button to try to correct that because you don't want to overcompensate and that can cause more back pain if you're in more of a sway back position. Now this next one is thoracic kyphosis. So this is one if you slouch a lot or if your back is hurting and you feel like you can't hold it up straight and you're just more in a bent over position, your upper back will start to round. So this is really important to really fight this and not let your muscles get used to being in that position because once they are in that position, it'll be a lot more difficult to try to train your muscles to go back without causing more pain. Now this one is forward head. So this one is common with scoliosis. Um, I even do this sometimes and a lot of times I think it is caused from people looking at their phone so much, looking down, and so you're just in a more forward head position. So with this one, you really wanna work on tucking that chin back and trying to be in a more straight aligned position. So now, this is an example of good standing posture. So you wanna make sure your ears are over your shoulders and your chin is tucked in a little bit so you don't have that forward head posture. You wanna make sure your bottom is tucked, performing that posterior pelvic tilt so you don't have a sway back. You wanna make sure you unlock your knees and not keep them in a super locked position or hyperextended position. You wanna draw your stomach in, like performing that posterior pelvic tilt, and you wanna keep your shoulders down and back so that prevents the rounding. So these are just some basic things that people with scoliosis or even if you don't have scoliosis can really work on to help improve their posture and stay in a more correct alignment. Okay, those are all of the exercises today. I hope this was helpful for you and informational. Um, just posture is key when you have scoliosis is really trying to get yourself back in proper alignment as much as possible to help decrease some of that pain. It may be uncomfortable at first trying to get into that position, especially since your muscles are trained to be in that normal position that you've been in for so long. So I know when I really work on posture exercises, I'm sore and that's normal as long as you're doing it correctly. You want to make sure you're doing all of these with proper form and technique. That is the key. So just a quick reminder, um, this, I'm not your doctor, so before you start any exercise program, you should always consult your physician before, just to make sure that it's okay for you. In your case with scoliosis, everyone's a little bit different. But I hope this was helpful for you guys, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will see you guys next week.